Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Thursday the 24th of June. We have some new mods, we have some updates. I just want to start off by apologising for the sporadic nature of videos this week. It's been a bit of a mad one with various different things, some long overdue maintenance and repair on the house which has eaten into way more of my time than I anticipated it would. Uh, today, my hay fever, is, fever has been horrendous and my face is just melting. So between bouts of sneezing fits, I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to fit this mod review in. Uh, the updates are as follows. From the left, the Crawler Loader Liebherr 622 pack by Black Sheep Modding. The PB5032 by Blendart Kolchosnik Jr. TT Check Modding. And the box pack by TB Simulationen and Red Cat 3D have all had updates today. In front of me then, we have got the AGM Front Loader and Big Bags pack by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. Now this kind of ties in with the next mod we're going to look at as well, which is the MF4200 series, also by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. But we'll do the, the AGM pack first 6.69 megabytes download we have got in this pack this here which is a transport rack for the big bags we've got the front loader itself the AGM 600 the tractor is part of that pack then over here we've got forks we've got a bucket we've got a leveler and we've got forks forks with a grapple each of these are one slot and the actual transport rack is three. No, transport rack is one. What was three? Oh, the um, front loader forks are three. Um, the bags themselves are interesting because we've got this one here, which is a, re a rechargeable bag in that it's 1,500 litre capacity. It comes empty and you can put in it whatever you want, which is pretty cool. We'll have a look at all the gear first. The bags hook up this one here that's got the four straps. As you go down, it will give you the option to attach. You can do it with straps as well, but a word of warning. When I put potatoes in this, with the straps attached, this thing was flinging all over the place. As soon as I detached the straps and just had it hooked up with these these little things here. I'm not quite sure what they're called. I mean, they're technically they eyelets, whatever they're called. Anyway, it was fine. So, you'll find the gear under front loader, front loaders, tools and front loaders. So the front loader 600, 6,500, requires 75 horsepower. Now, the thing with this, we can change the main colour. All of these implements have this same colour palette for choosing your colour. So you can change the colour if you want to. So anything on that palette. Now, you can have it standard attacher type. So this attacher will work on any of the other front loader setups you have. Or the AGM 600, which is specific to the attachment on well you can have stall as well on the tractors we're going to have a look at in a minute so it's up to you which you go with on that pallet fork universal bucket 1500 litres takes all that stuff leveler 2.5 metres and 1200 litre fork with grapple and that's, like I said each of these has got the same colour options should you choose now as far as the bags go if we go to objects and big bags and we scroll across. The rechargeable big bag is 200, and we'll take any of those crop types, any of those things in there, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, we then got the seeds. That will work out at 600 for 1,000 litres, which is pretty good price-wise. Solid fertiliser. Actually, that's some... Oh, that's fertiliser. I'm thinking that was lime. No, solid fertiliser, 2,100 for 1,000. That's 1,050 for 1,000 litres. That's not too bad. Lime big bag, wheat big bag, pig food big bag, and oat big bag. These are all 2,000 litres, and they can all be picked up. I'm not going to show you the pallet forks and the bucket, and I'm pretty sure at this point in the game you've probably used a pallet fork and a bucket and possibly a leveller before. Now what should happen is we attach, and it will do that. Now, like I said, you can use straps, I put straps on it gets a little bit is it going to do it or not I'm, I'm just going to you know I'm going to detach them 
it's better like that for this one um, and it's your usual transport rack you tip it back a little bit and it's got those little metal bits around the sides for supporting the bag in transit pop that down there if we do one of the ones that's got the this has got a hook in the middle of it as well as so you can see that right in, right in the middle there there's a hook so we come over one of these we can hook up right in the middle does the same thing bit of stretch on the bag now these are nothing new we've had a few of these before it's just a different version of from eric isaac aggro mods nice pack with a few accessories and the big bags i do like the rechargeable one i think that's pretty cool right what we'll do there is stop there so moving on from that we've got this which is the mf 4200 series as i already said by eric isaac and aggro mods this is 24.17 megabytes download these are 23 slots each and these do actually come as sort of individually so we've got the 42 we'll get onto it in just a second <laughs> we've got a four wheel drive and a two wheel drive option in each of these 4270 and 4290 so i think it is and there's a, a plethora of options as you can see with the various different wheel options there's narrows there's the i always think comical tires conical the conical tires well they're not even tires are they wheels really um whole load in this pack this, they're really nicely detailed and you've got this modern decal it's kind of like a metallic -y looking one which i quite like the look of well you've got the standard massey ferguson one if you want so these you'll find under vehicles and small tractors yeah, 4275. So we've got the 4275 4x4, four four, the 4275 4x2, those are the first two. We'll have a look at this again. The 4290 4x4 four four and the 4290 4x2. Four Prices vary, but the slot count will drop down from 23 to 2 for any subsequent one you get. So on the 4x4, four four, we can change the rim colour. The rim colour options are the same on all of them, so I won't go through it on all of them. We can change the rim colour to anything on that. Then configuration does weights. So we've got 140 kilogram, 210 kilogram, 280 kilogram, back to standard. There's no three point link on any of these. Then wheel brand, we've got Lizard and Michelin. Now on, I'm sure it's the 4290s, you only get a narrow tyre option. I'm pretty sure you do on the Michelins. But anyway, so under Lizard, we've got standard. Wheel weights, rice tyres. Hang on, did we go large there? No. Standard, wheel weights, straight to rice tyre. Double rice tyre, rice and auxiliary, complete auxiliary, used rice tyre, double used rice tyre, used and auxiliary, used and complete auxiliary, iron wheels, conical, <laughs> conical wheels, back to standard. Then under Michelin, we've got standard weights, wides, widen weights, narrows and back to standard i think it was just those two yeah then back to lizard again then design we've got protection grid that sticks out a long way off the front or not front grill old design or new design so depending on what lighting design you want i do like the new design fenders front rear both then engine setup on the 4275 we've got 75 horsepower an 80 horsepower, an 89 horsepower, then back to 75. So 75, 80, 89. Then exhaust, we've got original. We've got original 2, chrome, back to original. Then side design, this is the decals. You've got the old design decal, then the new design. Now that looks black from there, but as you move around, you'll see it's the shiny metallic as you go around. So if, you, if you're at an angle when you first do it and think, oh, it's not, it's, it's not right, it's just, you just need to come around a little bit. It'll be absolutely fine. Then front loader attacher, no. The AGM 600, which goes with the pack we just looked at. Stall or no. Those are your options on that one. The two-wheel drive alternative. Again, colour options are the same. Configuration for the weights is the same. Wheel brand, Lizard and Michelin. I think we've got pretty much the same options. Obviously, you're not going to get the front ones changing. Double rice, auxiliaries used yeah and back pretty much same with the design i'm sure everything else is exactly the same with this 
front grille, fenders. Obviously, you're not going to get fenders over the front wheels because it's the two wheel drive option. Same engine setup, the exhaust is the same, design is the same, and then front loader attacher. So, if you have got the protection grid as an option and you go for the front loader attacher, it takes the protection grid off. Yeah. And then we move on to the 4290. Rim colours is exactly the same, configuration is exactly the same, up to a 280 kilogram weight. We've got Lizard or Michelin. Now, on this, so on the 4290, if you go for Michelin, you've only got a narrow tyre option. There's not another option on that. So on the Lizard, standard, I think it's the same options, rice tyres, auxiliaries, used rice, auxiliaries, iron, conical, and back. And then I think everything else is the same. Protection grids, designs. Difference is going to be when we get to engine setup with the 4290, we've got a 99 horsepower and a 105 horsepower. Those are the two engine sizes. But everything else is exactly the same, including front loader attachers. And then the same with the two-wheel drive option. Pretty sure it's the same with the wheel brand. Yep, under the Michelins, it's narrows only. So it's the lizards that have got all the tyre choices. And all the rest of the options are exactly the same as the first ones we looked at. So these are the 4270s. That's the larger engine size, the 4283. 4275 went with the iron wheels on the two-wheel drive version. Wider tyres on the four-wheel drive version, but with the front loader attacher, the AGM 600. And then this one with the 4290, I went with the narrow wheel setup on this one on the two-wheel drive with the newer decals. And that one with the, the comicals. Let's start one up. There's a bit of a delay when you start it up. I thought start off with there's no sound, it's not working, but it just takes a little bit. Horn. Lights. It's a nice tractor with a nice set of options in whichever of the versions you go for. Hasn't got a crazy uh, reverse alarm or anything like that. First person, looks like this. There you go. That's the MF4200 series by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. Moving on from there, we've got this. This is the homemade barrel. This is 5.8 megabytes download, six slots on console. This is by Liquidator and Camus. It's a 10,000 litre container. Although I had a problem. Now, maybe because of the option I chose. Now I'm thinking about it. Probably was. Nicely detailed. Front swivel axle. Double tank. A few options on it. So if we go to... I think it was under miscellaneous. Yep. Homemade barrel, five grand for a 10,000 litre, which is pretty good. It says it will do uh, water, digestate, liquid fertiliser and herbicide. No, sorry, slurry water. That's interesting. It doesn't do water. Slurry and digestate, liquid fertiliser and herbicide. Is there one under animals that does water and milk? No. Oh, okay. Better check, you never know. So options, main colour changes the chassis. We can't change the barrels, they stay galvanised. Rim colour, anything on that palette. Then you can have without ladder, ladder right, ladder left, ladder on both sides. And then you've got capacity in the back, on the sides. So this is where this connects up. Then it says in the back to sprayers so that could be why because i took it out to fill it up and it only gave me the option for slurry or digestate so potentially you need to have that on in the back to sprayers to get liquid fertilizer or herbicide in it i would think i'm just i'm surmising on that bit because i couldn't work out why it wouldn't let me put anything other than slurry or digestate in it but it could be that setting right there um but there you go Ten thousand litre capacity and homemade barrel by Liquidator and Cam Us. Moving on from there, we have got this. This is the Massey Ferguson DM306PFK. 
This is 5.27 megabytes download, 10 slots on console. It's by LS Agra Ole. Ol. It's a 3.2. Is it 3.2 meter? I think it's like that. Front mower, as you can see. Nicely designed, nicely detailed. Don't think we've got any massive Ferguson mowers. We've got whole ranges of different sets of mowers. I think some with different configurations, but you'll find it under mowers. 18,000, 3.2 meter width, requires 85 horsepower at 13 miles per hour. Mowers cut grass. No options available. You get it just like that. So, let's hook up. Unfolding it like that, raising and lowering it, swings it up and down in and out of place like that, which I like. I'll turn it on, drop it down, and it'll mow 3.2 metres in front. Follows the land very nicely with the sort of suspension setup it's got on the front of it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a mower and it mows. It's a nice looking one. And that is by LS Agra Ole. I'm saying Ole, it's O L E, but there's no accent over the E. I'm, I was all, all. Anyway, moving on from there to the last of the mods for today, and this is an absolute corker. I would nearly go so far as to say game changer. I know it's very late in the game, but um, this is the Unreal Tree Devourer. This is by Rowley Christie 1, VSR Modding Sur, 11 slots, 4.04 megabytes. It looks a little bit like the Miller machine that we've got already, but it's not. Now, when it said Tree Devourer, straight away I thought, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. We've got another mulcher. We've got quite a few mulchers in game already, various different ones that you, you know, there's the T-Rex 600 and there's various different ones that attach on. And if you've got that situation now where you've got a forest, you don't particularly want to do forestry, you want to clear it, um, you can go along with your mulcher and wallop. You can just take the trees out, you know, gone, vanished, done. With this, we have a slightly different prospect. You can do that. You can remove the trees. So if you want to clear the ground, you absolutely can. But this wood chips them. So this is a fully mobile wood chipper all-in-one bit of kit. So this will cut the tree down, wood chip it, and send the wood chippings into your trailer. So if you are going to be clearing forest areas, you're not losing out on the wood chips from it. It's the only downside to doing that when you're using those big mulches and stuff. You can clear massive amounts of ground, that's great, but you kind of lose out on the potential from the wood itself. So this solves that problem. This was under forestry equipment. It's expensive because of what it does. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a wood chipper. It's, you know, there are loads of different wood chipper mods, and they're all expensive. And some of them quite tricky to use and a pain to load and that kind of thing. Not so with this. So 125 grand. It also has a capacity of 20,000 litres. So coupled with the trailer, you can actually transport a fair amount. It only requires 40 horsepower as well. So you can put this on a really small machine. Which is amazing. Main colour. Loads on this palette. We can go with whatever you want. And then you see where it says Unreal on there. That's the design colour. We change that to say for pink. That changes the logo Unreal. And that's it. Those are your options. Now, it, at first, I was a little bit... Oh, because, only because when I read the, the, the actual blurb, the blurb says, this machine is capable of devouring hundreds of trees and trunks in a few seconds. That is a bold statement. <laughs> um, that's why its price is so high. I mean, I would say the price is high because it is so versatile, so mobile. We'll lift it up, pipe out, swings the pipe round. Now, this does also have lights on it as well on the front here, which is pretty handy. So if you go like that, that and then main beam with the tractor as well. We've got a nice big open area. Now, this is the RYC, this is the Trans 70, the one that tips up as well. I'm not quite sure why I picked this one to use, but a little bit finicky in that. Let's turn it on. We'll drop it down. Let's do a tree. And yes, it does do the tree very quickly. However, 
I'm finding a lot of the times the stump is remaining. So that that concept of devouring trees hundreds in seconds, not so sure. If I want to get rid of that stump, there was a couple of ways I was doing it. One, get up close to it, raise it like that, and it will get rid of it and lower it back down again. It didn't always work. So the other way I was looking at doing it was... And I love the fact you're getting the wood, you're getting the uh, wood chip. So it's coming just off to the side and I was getting the wood chip. Come on, please work now. Oh, nearly there. Like that. So if you come just to the side of it, it was then removing the stump. Now, I would argue that even that bit of time it takes to do that, it's well worth it because of the wood chip. <laughs> you know, you are clearing the trees but you're getting the wood chip. I, I honestly, I can't see a downside to this. They're up to 15,000 litres. That's crazy. Now I can raise it and lower it, but it doesn't always work. So I'll see if it work that side as well. If I come just to the side. Come on, do it. Oh, that only seems to work that side then. That's interesting. If I come that side. Come on, please work. I'm, I'm telling the audience this is going to work. Come on. There we go. So it only seems to me if you go to the right-hand side of it, the stump will disappear. But again, I don't really see what the drama is when you consider how much we... <laughs> we just went from 15,000 to 28,000 litres. And that one did take the stump out. So it doesn't... It's, you know, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And again, it depends on what trailer you're using. I'm just having to turn a little bit every now and again for the wood chip to go in so it's transferring it from the actual chipper at the front into the trailer you can see how that trailer is filling up now <laughs> just, I love this I think it's absolutely fantastic I, I honestly wow like I say I know I keep harping on saying the same thing but for me it's just that you know when you've got that decision to make do I you know, do I want to clear this land? I don't really want to do logging. But if you are going to clear it and then lose potentially anything from it, and it also depends what map you're on, six ashes, wood chips are worth their weight in gold, which means this thing would be absolutely phenomenal. Um, on some maps you can use wood chips to sell at the biogas plant. Some maps you can use wood chips for making compost. So I'll be honest with you, that thing is brilliant. I love it. That may be making quite an appearance very soon. So, the Unreal Tree Devourer by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir, and that's it for the mods for today. Now, I have had a couple of pauses to have a couple of sneezing fits. Hopefully you won't notice where the edits are. We have got two new maps today. Yesterday, Riverside Farms by Missy B had an update. And I was I was going to review it. I was I was prepping everything to review it. And like I say, today I'm having an absolute nightmare. Today, Porto Barinha Farm by Bruno Covas and Zay Enrique, and Kleinsilheim 2K21 by Richie F and Flo 1983 have both been released. I honestly don't know when I'm going to be able to get onto them. Uh, it, it may honestly not be till next week. And I know that people don't want to hear that, but I have got so much on. The house is in bits. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, we've got loads of that going on. Uh, so, yeah, I will try my very hardest, I promise. But it may not be till next week that I do the map tours on those. But I will try. Uh, so that's it for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, as always, thanks for watching.